Welcome everyone to DNA Podcast here at Connected to Heaven from Arlington, Texas. I am Pastor Anita. This is my beloved husband, Pastor David. Greetings. And this is Michelle. Hey. And so thank you for joining us today. It is an honor and a privilege to be here today with you guys. We have been away for a few weeks now, but we are back and rolling and and uh, ready to do what God needs us to do in this new season. Wait, so, but before we get into that, y'all were gone for a while. Mm-hmm. So where did y'all go? We ended up going, first we had a fam- family vacation. And then after that, we went to a marriage. With another family. <laughs> <laughs> we went to a marriage cruise wow, to the Bahamas. Yes, we're in the Bahamas. Yeah, we went to you the Bahamas. some uh, pigs. Are there pigs over here? Right. Oh, yeah, there is. They were swimming with the pigs. Yeah, yeah we swam with the pigs. <laughs> we swam with the big pigs. I was, I was at a vacation where uh, there was this, like, there was pigs in there, and this lady got bitten by one of them. Oh, um, wow. <laughs> I'm the one that bit the pig. <laughs> <laughs> and so we ended up, um, got the... We went there. We, we went were we were in the water for five hours, just there soaking it With up. The jellyfish. Yes, <laughs> there was jellyfish, and um, we were there. Uh, it was a five-day cruise. It was for a marriage conference and for all the pastors for pastors, and under we're the just covering. yeah under the covering. And so we're just grateful that we were it able. It was a to blessing. Do. What was the What was the best food that you got in there? Like, what was the thing that you were like going back? Pizza. Pizza? Yeah, it was pizza. They pizza. Had, they, had some, they had some amazing. They had amazing pizza. Yes. At uh, midnight, usually we would hit the pizza pizza parlor. Yes. Yeah. Everybody. Was, everybody. Wow. So it, it was great. Just it was us. amazing. It wasn't just us, but yeah. it was. And we gained some pounds too. Well, uh, just a little bit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Two or three pounds. Two or three pounds. Yeah. But it was great. It was amazing. Mm-hmm. That was good. And uh, then we went to. We stayed in Miami. Yeah. We stayed in Miami five five more days, and we went through an immers- immersive class uh, which was amazing and uh, it taught us on the vision and stuff like that so yeah it was training so yeah it was good supernatural training it was so. good it was good we're we're ready and we're happy to be back yeah, we're happy to have them back because it was a while they were gone for a little bit yes and, prepare and all that but they thought i was doing community service <laughs> <laughs> no, they were back, so we're so happy to have them back we're so happy that they're back here, and, uh, and so today's topic is going to be about what Pastor Nina. So the topic today is going to be about breaking cycles. Um, <clears throat> You know, at the beginning of the year, I remember that the, I was in prayer and the Lord said that many had transitioned to the new year 2023, but they had not transitioned to a new cycle. Mm-hmm. And so I, as I start getting to know people more, I've actually realized that people are stuck in cycles mm-hmm. like um, people, you know, and I'm going to as as we continue to talk, I just, you know, want to point some things out. And there's people that. You know, it's it's been like five, ten years, twenty years, and they're still do. Is there is still in the same pattern? Yes. The same Doing cycle. The same thing. They wake up in the morning from Monday through Friday, go to work, get home, do whatever they need to do at home, take care of the kids, go to bed. Then again, they're in. The, they keep doing this and over and over, and they see nothing different. They make this cycle a routine, and they don't even notice that it's not a routine anymore it's just a cycle that they can't get out of yeah right. it's, it's it's you know um they're at this job and literally i feel like they're like we're like prisoners mm-hmm. prisoners and there's nothing new happening um actually that's the verse that i wanted to um talk about it's uh, ecclesiastes 3 1 and it talks about to everything there's a season a time for every purpose under heaven and we're supposed to be we're there's supposed to be new things happening in yes. our lives as christians yes as, as christians or even not christians yes we're supposed and to. this is going to be open to everyone not just christians but i see that there's nothing different happening in your life it's like nothing new is happening in our gener even in our generations like whatever mom did daughter's doing whatever daughter's doing the next generation is going to do it and it's going to keep on going and going kind of and traditional going. yeah and and it's, it's the same cycles and patterns yes um do you ever face anything like that like do you do your family have any cycles that 
that you noticed and you had to break? What do you think? <laughs> well, I mean, I think that especially like us, the Hispanic community, we, a, yeah. we just go to work and work, 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 work really, really hard. And then we end up, you know, owning some properties and owning. I know, I know when I was growing up, uh, it was about saving money. Yeah. You know, always saving money, saving. Mm -hmm. You work hard, you work hard, you work hard. And it's about saving money. Yeah, like you couldn't even buy anything good. Yeah. Or, or really, our, well, honestly, our parents, they were probably making it. Like he grew up with a single mother. Single mother. I grew up with my parents, but my parents also were very limited because they had, you know, four kids living at the house. And and um, what about you too? I mean, yeah, like I, I would say that um, for a long time mm -hmm. we were stuck on the same thing of like, well, we you work and you can't have anything else. You can't really do any other than the usual, which is just like the routine of like going to school and the basic stuff, uh, pretty much because of that, because we didn't really have the money for, to, to do more. To do more. Yeah. And, and the thing is that um, it gets, it, the people, they, they're hopeless. They're hopeless, they end up dying, and you know, let's say that. All that money that was saved. That was saved, they were never able to spend it. Or even like, let's go into years, like, <clears throat> People literally sometimes they just um, look forward to a vacation. Yeah. But that's all they look forward to. That's like, like the best thing in their life. Yeah. yeah, they look forward to My mother worked for 30 years, 35 years in the same company. And like you said, it was a cycle. She did the same thing over and over mm -hmm. for 35 years. For 35 years. For 35 years, and once you get like a little break, it's like, oh my god, this is the greatest. Yes, thing yes, world. yes. And that's she it. Know how to they act. She they to work. Vegas. She would work all year to save her her vacation. Right? Yes. And it was the same place that I would go to every. Yeah. <laughs> Not even like another place. Yeah, no, we just go to Six Flags. No, <laughs> had to be something else. Six Flags, mom. <laughs> Even though you said you didn't have any pictures. I don't have any pictures, Mom, but I know you took me. <laughs> In the spirit. <laughs> yeah, so there's, um, you know, God says that we were all created for purpose. Amen. Yeah. We have a purpose. There's a purpose behind it. And the reason why you f you're you feeling stagnant or you feel like your life is... You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Like, you're not... Your wheels are just spinning. You're not going anywhere. You're it's, buffering. Yeah, you're buffering. Exactly. You know when the internet is buffering on your f phone or on your wallet? Yeah. iPad? Yeah. Yeah, you're just a circle and circle, circle and circle. And, you know? That's not what God wants. No, that's not what God wants. God, He... The Bible says that we're supposed to be going from glory to glory. Amen. One of the reasons why you feel the way you do is because of sin. You could be having open doors, uh, you know, because a if you ha if you are disobedient to God's commands, to God's uh, uh, to God's commands, then what you do is you end up, you end up getting stuck in a cycle, and a cycle and when you're obedient that actually transitions you to a cycle of blessings Amen. obedience releases a cycle of blessings so that's why it's so important that we align ourselves with the will of god because if not we're always going to be stuck we're always going to be stuck and we're never going to see um honestly there has been many many people and i heard this from someone that they said that They've asked the people that um, that are about to die that they say, you know, I wish I would have that nobody has says I wish I would have made more money or something else. They always say I wish I would have spent more time with my family. I wish I would have done this or I would have done that. And the thing is that we get ourselves wrapped up with the system of this world, the society, and and then we end up, you know, not realizing that. Uh, the things, the little things that we were supposed to enjoy, we don't enjoy them. And um, which is family? <clears throat> yeah, I think it's like a revelation thing that we also need to get because a lot of the times we just, well, yes, like we don't really see uh, changes in our lives because we are not obedient to His word. Mm -hmm. We uh, and we also, and I'm telling you from experience because it happened to me. Um, 
because of unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. uh, and unforgiveness, unforgiveness holds doors of blessings in mm -hmm. your life. Yes. And a lot of the times we just think, oh, well, I don't really have anything against that person. Mm -hmm. Because I used to say that. I remember I used to be like, well, I don't really have anything against that person. Mm -hmm. Every time I would think about the person, mm -hmm. it would always come back to, oh, but they did this to me. And then da 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 They were bitter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I would, I would be like, well, I don't really have anything against them. Mm -hmm. But if I see them, you know? I'm going to let them know how I really feel. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of the times I was going through that. And the moment that I got the revelation of like, you know what? You truly need to forgive, not from here but from here amen mm -hmm. that's exactly the amen. moment that a lot of things started to change in my life and when that happened in my life i was like did i really did, did it really take just that like it didn't make sense sometimes it the easiest stuff is just the things that make the biggest changes mm -hmm. and we don't biggest impact in your life yeah yeah wow that's good yes yeah, some forgiveness we one, must of, forgive. one of the things that i remember that um, it took, it was like seasons are not like in the supernatural, it's not in, like in the natural. The natural is like we have the seasons of, of the um, seasons, like you know, the festivals or the festivals. <laughs> Like when the no, fair comes no. like every three months, what is it, January, January, Quarterly. well we have winter, we have, uh, oh like the seasons, uh, fall, oh. spring, winter, yeah, fall, yeah, okay, we have the seasons, those are in the natural, like we know that, okay, whenever it starts getting really hot, it's, that means it's summer, already. summertime, yeah, if it starts winter, it gets fall. freezing, you know, fall, the leaves start coming off the tree, okay, um, but in the supernatural, in God's uh, seasons, they're different. And it depends on how long you want to be in that season. And I'm going to tell you one thing. One of the things that happened to me was um, part of me aligning to God was whenever the Lord was trying to teach me to be submissive to my husband. And for many years, I had been a very independent woman that I was, it was a lot. God had to deal with me a lot. So it, it took actually a year um, in my season where I had to go through that, that process. <laughs> yeah, I, I had to go through that process and the longer the longer it takes you to to learn from what god wants to teach you is that's how long you're going to be stuck and if you don't want to learn Stagnation. if you don't want to allow god to process you then you're going to be stuck you're going to be stagnant so maybe you have to go through the process yeah yes. you, you have to go through the process but that's what took it took me a year and i remember that it was long 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 it took it felt like 10 years but it was so necessary for god to take me to the next glory because if if i'm not aligned like i was not going to receive the blessings like he was saying something like that can really block your blessings and to me i did for so many years i had been you know um I didn't, I didn't, my father was, I didn't have an authority. And so I get married to him and I don't even know how to be submissive. submissive to an authority. In school, I was out of control. I mean, I never listened to my authorities. I went to jail a few times too because I didn't know how to listen to the laws. Really? I didn't know that too. I didn't know that either. <laughs> Who is this one? <laughs> so... <laughs> So the thing is that um, I had to learn the hard way. So what do you do? You have anything to share? No, I just. No, it was whenever. I'm doing a background check when I got this. <laughs> when this video is over, I'm doing a background check. No. Don't make sure it's fingerprints. <laughs> one of them was probably with you too, with your colleague. It you was, can share that one. You, like I had to be, you didn't want to be a pastor. Be honest with you, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to be a pastor, mm -hmm. and that was kind of hard for me at the beginning because, you know, uh, it was it was all new to me. It was, I was like, wow, you know, but I was just like, wow. But, you know, here we are, and, and God has made it happen, and, and we're a full-time ministry now, and, and it's beautiful, mm -hmm. you know, but we had to go through the process. I had to he, go through the process. Like, okay. Oh, my bad. No, go ahead. Uh, do you feel like you resisted it? I think, yeah. Yeah? I, I resisted. I resisted. There was resistance there. Um, I didn't want it. Talk to them about the finances, how you had to go from... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I had to go from, like, making a quarter of a million dollars to, like... 
<laughs> you know? But you were like this looking for it. I was looking through the binoculars. Like, where's it at, you know? But it was, it was, I needed that. I needed that because, one, it taught me how to be humble. 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 You know, uh, it taught me how to be humble. It taught me how to uh, not put a price uh, tag. No, and also um, to, to, to God to be your source. Yes, for yeah. God to be my only source. When I was in the world or when I was in the workplace. Before Christian. Uh, before I became a Christian, it was all about me. You know, I was making X amount of dollars every week. I, my goal was to make more than what I made the week before. Mm. And, and I, was, I didn't even, God was not even in the picture. You know, to know that God was the one that was giving me the opportunity. He was giving me that opportunity to make that kind of money, mm -hmm. you know. But no, it, it, it was a, it was a process. I remember how you didn't want, the Lord was already calling you to come over the truck. And how many accidents did you have? Uh, hey, the Lord was already speaking to me, and he wanted me to come off, uh, off the road. Uh, I, I was a truck driver for 35 years. And uh, I know last video I said 32, but it was 35, this one. And, uh, and so... Um, and the Lord was calling me and calling me, and I kept resisting, and I kept resisting. And uh, for my purpose, this is my purpose. I know that I found my purpose now. And so um, I had four accidents. And uh, thank God, uh, thank you, God, that uh, nothing ever happened to me. But it was uh, his yeah, like, yeah, it, was, it wasn't my knew. fault. I told him, I was like, David, I feel like this is God telling you, like, it's time, you know. And, and so maybe some somebody that's listening to us right now, maybe, maybe the Lord's already calling you to full time ministry or, you know, to serve him, not even full time ministry, but to serve him. Serve him in your and, church. And maybe things are not going the right way is because most likely you really need to pray and ask God what is it that you want me to do yeah and also like when he was talking about like when he was making a quarter million dollars a year and then you come to do almost nothing <laughs> and it's like uh, no you depend, nothing you depend on it right yes yeah. I was with, uh, with this person the other day and he was sharing with me uh, that for a year he worked so hard and to be able to save ten thousand dollars put it on his bank account wow and that he was on a conference uh, and during the conference, it was just God was just speaking to him, telling him to to sell the ten thousand um, dollars, and he just resisted it through the whole service. He was just like resisting it, and at the end, he said that he just obeyed and he just gave the ten thousand dollars, and that then that revelation came to his uh, mind, like you said, like being able to depend on him more than depend on our own strength and own ability work of making the money, and after that. Um, well, nowadays, from what I've talked to him, he has 14 businesses, and he's just making ridiculous amounts of money and companies that he just never thought of. I received that. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it also brought like a revelation to me, like you can't make that little money your your God, or you can't yes. make that little money your your source of like source of life. Yeah, mm -hmm. and also like of confidence or. What would you call it? Uh, security. Security. Um, because sometimes we depend so much more on the money that we have in the bank account than, than God. Than God. Exactly. Yeah. So if you want to zell me, zell me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have the number at the end of the program. <laughs> it's right here under the screen. <laughs> It'll be right under the screen. Make no, sure put it no that is true. Um, I think that that's what's happening with us is that we... We, we have to become uncomfortable mm -hmm. to be able to be comfortable, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and I'm, but, I'm glad, I'm glad always, for the process. But it's only comfort for a little bit because then God will take you to another level yes. of uncomfort, but then he'll make you comfortable for a little bit, but then he'll take you from glory to glory. Yes, amen. Like he was saying, um, you know, one of the things too that I remember last year, one of the processes that I had to go through was um, that the Lord made us uncomfortable in our business. Our like business our business uh, wasn't producing like it normally did and we because of the diesel prices were in the transportation as well and I remember that I ended up seeking God more at the time me yes. and my husband were seeking God more and asking God like what direction or what are you trying to do through this in the season and the Lord I remember uh, giving us five ideas on how to expand the business. Five creative ideas. Yes five creative ideas and we've been having this business for 13 years and we never ever thought about expanding the business in that way and so uh, the thing is that um, 
the God wanted to take us to the next glory, but because we were comfortable and we were not doing anything on our, you know, on our part, uh, on our so that way He could take us. So, but we thank God that we learned from that situation, and now we go to the next glory. So thank God that we came out of that too. So we were all, you know, we were all created for purpose. Amen. So everybody has a purpose. Um, you have a purpose. Yes, everyone has a purpose. And you are also you. you God has given you so many creative ideas because going back to what you said of when God told you to expand your business mm -hmm. in five different ways mm -hmm. I used to think that we were made to be able to make money just from one place mm -hmm. uh, and that's it mm -hmm. and that then when I started like getting party about all this stuff I that's when I realized like oh wait we're supposed to have multiple ways of multiple money. yes and uh, it, it kind of like changed my mind of how it's supposed to work and really it changes a lot of things because um, your income kind of increases and your the abilities of being able to kind of like multiply your money don't depend on one thing but depend on so many things that God has given you the abilities and the gifts to be able to do it that amen way. yes yes yes, yes, yes. yes. like it says you know you should have multiple businesses. Yeah. You know, uh, so when the when the cow gets flaca, skinny. When the cow gets skinny, you have from somewhere else to mm -hmm. get. Uh, from this one gets skinny, you have from an, from another place to get mm -hmm. from another source. So because we're not supposed to be lacking, and that's something that you know, if you're watching this video and you maybe you've been at a job uh, for years. And you or, see nothing. And you see nothing. You know, like God works in seasons. And if you feel frustrated, if you feel like you don't want to go to that job anymore, if you feel like you're ready to run out, like somebody was telling me last like night. You know, like if you're sitting in your car in the morning <laughs> and you don't, and you're in the parking lot and you don't want to walk in, <laughs> call me. <laughs> I'll help you and guide you. How to get up the steps. <laughs> and so that's the thing. Just tell that... me what you got for lunch. <laughs> No, Chick no. The thing is that 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 means that your season is is not. Pray about it. Yeah. Look, get in your secret place, guys. Uh -huh. Listen to me. Get in your secret place. When you get in your secret place, God will He will download mm -hmm. so much mm -hmm. into you, and you will see. And what's the next step to write? Like He'll download yeah. into you. What's the next step? Yes. Because sometimes when we don't even get into His presence and we don't seek Him in that area. Yes, we're looking for the next thing, but where are we getting it from? Like, yeah. Where, where, is it our emotions? Yeah. Or is it God? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. That's so it's very important that we're guided by God because let me tell you something. Another thing, too. If you're a student, okay, and you're going to college and you're going to school for, you know, a nurse, and you're not sure that's what you want to do or you're just going off of your emotions or because your friend told because you that. Because mom they, was a nurse. Oh, yeah. Or because your friend told you that they pay good money. Let me tell you something. That career that you're investing to, that you're investing your years, you're investing your money because school is very expensive now. You need to make sure that that's what you want to do. And that, that is your purpose. And that is your purpose. That, that is, is your purpose. purpose. Exactly. Because if not, you're going to be stuck. Because you're gonna go into this um, medical program, medical you're, gonna, program. you're gonna start doing. Tell us about yeah. your your school. You went to school for how many years? And so I graduated from high school in 2014. Um, That's when I graduated. <laughs> <laughs> We're both alumni. <laughs> I came over from Mexico uh, to do college and all that stuff. <laughs> um, so basically, it was two years of. Uh, ESOL, which is like an English program because I didn't know any English. English is a second language for those that don't know. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then um, it was two years and a half of college and then two years of university. Mm -hmm. But I went through some crazy stuff. Battles, some up and down. Mm -hmm. And I didn't finish the school in the time that it was supposed to, which was like, supposed to be like five years. Mm -hmm. I finished it like almost a... Ten. Almost, <laughs> <laughs> almost eight, I would say. Close to 10. Yeah, uh -huh. close to 10. So it took, me, it took me a long time, but by the time that I was almost done, I, by the time that I had two semesters left, I knew that I was not supposed to be in that field. Wow. Um, and it was like, what am I doing? Like, like 
I already came on like far this way. I already did so much. I already invested so much into it. Oh, sacrifice so much. A lot of sacrifice. Sacrifice. And a lot of money. And a lot of There's money. A lot of money. Yeah, because you had to for your stay plus yeah. you know inter Every international state, students. Also, like international, like you pay like almost three times. Wow. Like, so wow. Here. So it was it was a lot of money, but I ended up finishing it. But uh, I think that the hardest part for oh the whole process was when I came out. Um, the decision of no going that route and going for I for what I was actually called for called for and taking a step back from the opportunity that I could have had with the career that I mm -hmm. uh, got it, that was hard mm -hmm. because I knew that I was gonna have secure money and I knew that I was gonna be secure mm -hmm. um, like I said earlier um, just that security of mm -hmm. knowing that you have something coming in every month mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about that mm -hmm. um, but I was gonna be so happy mm -hmm. because I knew that that wasn't for me I knew that if I walked into one of those places I was gonna be so happy well you're, you're an engineer right yeah mm -hmm. like, I just I, I just you know it was not for me like I used to go into my projects with people and I don't know, like, I just felt like I was not meant to be there. Man, I was man. there. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I've yeah, been there. I remember just... You were there too. I've been there, I've been there several times when I was in uh, at Notre Dame. <laughs> when I was getting my yeah, master's. Taking that, taking that a step of mm -hmm. uncomfortability mm -hmm. to be able to go to the next level. Mm -hmm. It's so hard sometimes, but it's worth it mm -hmm. to go through the pain. Because I did went through a lot. Like, the job that I had um, prior to what I'm doing now, that was, was basically like what he said. I was I would sit on the car and be like, Oh my god, I'm going back again. <laughs> like, I, I I I hated my life for a little bit there. I was like, What am I doing with my life? Like, mm -hmm. I'm just I'm wasting my my years. Yeah. Man. So, so don't waste your years. Make sure that you turn around. And he's giving you a testimony. He's a young man, you know, and college uh, degree, you know. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you know your purpose. Mm -hmm. And remember, the only one that can give you your purpose is going to be God. Yeah. God is the only one that's going to be able to, to, to tell you yeah. where you need to be, yep. what, where you need to hit, you know. Uh, yeah. Some of you are called for ministry. You know, and you're sitting here just trying to do, you're trying to work something else, do Uber Eats, you know, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, you know, we have to Look, guys, this is, uh, you know, I know we're laughing up here and everything, but we've all been processed. You know, we're not here just to be here. We've been processed. Um, but, and, and God is so good and he has so much mercy and mm -hmm. grace over us mm -hmm. that he'll have the same over you. But yes. get in here. Look, let me tell you something. And, and I say this all the time. When God speaks to you, your provision, your, your vision, He will give you the provision. Meaning that if you have a vision and God, you've heard from God, He's going to make it happen. He's going to make. He's going to supply your needs. Yeah, He's going to supply you always. Oh. We need to believe that. Yes. I remember, Amen. like just kind of touching on that. Um, I just didn't know how I was going to finish paying school at the end because it was a lot of money. Mm -hmm. and I wrote him a check. Literally. <laughs> God just making a way, like he, he wanted me to finish I and mean, he made a way for it to, because people were sewing into my life. Amen. Um, just giving me like, here, a thousand, two thousand dollars. Some person gave me five thousand um, dollars. And I was like, I mean, if this is not the obvious thing that I need to finish this, what else it could be? <laughs> but I, I, I was just being, I was like, okay, well, let's just finish it and just get it done with. Mm -hmm. So yeah, when God, has put something in front of you and he's giving you the vision for it, mm -hmm. he will always, somehow, even when it does not make sense, even when you could probably think, well, how is this going to happen? He will always make it happen. Correct. Some way or the other. He will make it happen. So he will make yes. It happen. Amen. So align yourselves today with the will of God over your lives because if not, you're going to be stuck in those cycles over and over and over and you're going to be frustrated and the last thing that you want is to be in your deathbed and regret that you never fulfilled the purpose in your life because you were stuck in a cycle. And so, we want. let's pray for the people that Amen. are watching us. And pray for me. 
Because <laughs> you have zero. <laughs> zero. <laughs> uh, so, Father, we thank you, Lord, for the people that have watched today. Yes, Father, we God. thank you for their lives. We declare, my God, that today you reveal to them if they are stuck in a cycle, if they have um, literally just lost hope. Father, we have lost faith in you. Yes, Father. We pray God. right Lord. now, Lord, that you give them you, you give them visions. And Lord, that you will bring the provision for their lives. And right now we declare that they enter a new cycle, Lord, that they align themselves with your will and they enter a new cycle in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray over their lives, blessings over their lives, and and Lord guide them and direct them each and every day. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We see y'all next week. We thank you very much for being here with us, Michelle. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Michelle. For thank you, Michelle, for being here, for taking the time from, from working at NASA. He works at NASA. <laughs> and so he took the time to come and record with us today. Beautiful wife here. I prayed for 20 years, and God brought, it to, brought her to me. And so I thank you. Oh, you still got that. <laughs> uh, background check. The background check. Oh, yeah, we got to do the background, the background check. check. <laughs> she may not be Anita. <laughs> So I thank you very much. I'm Pastor David, Pastor Anita, uh, Michel. Pastor Michelle. We thank you so much. We love you. We honor you. And we see you next week. Same channel, same place. Connected Subscribe to Heaven share. Ministries. Yes. yes. Share. Share it. If you like this video, share it. Share Even it with, if you didn't like it, share it. Share it. <laughs> share, it. share it. Okay. <laughs> we love you. From the studios at Connected to Heaven here in Arlington, Texas. We love you and we'll see you again. Remember, 11 a.m. Sunday mornings. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.